I'm John Masters and I'm the Business Development and Marketing Director at AVM Impact. AVM Impact is the UK's largest system integrator for audio, visual and communications technologies. There's lots of activity in the emerging collaboration space uh, featuring software from the likes of Cisco, WebEx, WebEx Social, from Microsoft such as Link and Yammer, uh, from Google as well. Um, but our focus is on enabling groups of people who are meeting in the same place to be able to collaborate. So examples of that might be in the corporate space, of course, boardrooms, meeting rooms, standard meeting rooms, or innovation rooms. In other places, it might be a courtroom, it might be uh, an operating theatre. Of course, we believe there is enormous value to getting many people into the same place. Uh, Whilst it's true that some collaboration applications and unified communications platform uh, enable people to meet virtually, sitting at their own laptops or iPads or even iPhones, in other instances there's a great deal of value to be had from people being in the same place. But equally in corporate environments, if I was running a large bank and a trader proposed a multi-billion pound deal, I might want to sit in front of him face to face to detect whether he truly believes in that transaction. So putting together an overall package that accommodates great video, lifelike images, good audio, but also multiple data sources on screens and allows the people in the room to be on their feet, mobile, energetic, charisma is our goal. An example of the kind of collaborative meeting room that we are able to create for customers is in fact the meeting room that um, my colleagues in the background are uh, using at this moment. So what do you see in that meeting room? Hannah is able to present on a whiteboard, everybody on the video can see her and she can see everybody on the video, but equally when her colleague perhaps he's trying to work on something else and wants to talk and present something, a camera could switch to her. And in all cases, the video quality is high. We see lifelike images of the people that are speaking. So many people ask the question whether specialist audio, visual and video conferencing equipment is, is still necessary in meeting rooms, given that collaboration and unified communication applications such as Microsoft Link or Cisco WebEx have embedded video technology in them. And you can of course use that video technology uh, for several people in a room instead of just one person in front of the desktop. It is possible, but we definitely don't think it's the ideal scenario. It's all also worth noting that in many cases, video room equipment can actually be cheaper to own than running video through a desktop running an application such as Link or WebEx. And that's because to get a really good quality image that can be put on a nice big screen, the PC that's going to run that uh, application needs to have a great specification. It also needs to be maintained and managed, including managing the security issues. So sometimes the cost of ownership of a PC can actually be higher than specialist video equipment. There's also one highly significant technology advancement that is changing what we can do in meeting rooms. And it's actually a rather straightforward one. It's the performance and cost of screens, especially large format screens, uh, displays. And that's highly significant because with more easy to deploy and cost effective screens available, we can now put several screens in a meeting room to enable participants to, for instance, see somebody who's come in on video on one screen and see the presentation material that everybody's looking at on a different screen, perhaps at the opposite end of the table. So in that scenario, we may have someone presenting uh, to the whole room and the person that has come into the meeting over video can see that person at the other end of the table standing pointing at his presentation slides. Historically, the application of the technologies that I've been talking about has largely been reserved to perhaps boardrooms or high value client meeting rooms for large global companies. Um, but two things are changing. The cost of many of the technologies 
and especially those large format displays, has really dropped dramatically. Whilst at the same time, management are seeing the importance of having their teams, wherever they might be in the world, uh, innovating and collaborating together uh, without having to fly a whole team to one location. And consequently, there is increased demand to deploy effective collaboration technology in all meeting rooms and in many other spaces in which groups meet. So at AVM Impact, we have spent a great deal of time seeking to find optimum combinations of technologies and creating standard solutions and products for different types of meeting room. And to do that in a modular and standardized way in order that our customers can benefit from uh, economies of scale across their entire organization, whichever kind of meeting room it might be. And we've called those solutions our true collaboration rooms. So I'm sitting in a true collaboration room now. The pictures you might have seen in the background here are being sent from different true collaboration room configurations. So if you're one of those companies that is considering or perhaps has already deployed collaboration technologies or unified communications technologies and you'd like to explore how you could integrate those platforms into the meeting room experience so that your teams can collaborate not only at the desktop but can collaborate between meeting rooms then we would love you to perhaps approach us and explore how our true collaboration solutions might work in your business. <music>